Amelie Richter is a student and a passionate online shopper. I usually buy H&M online or cheaper clothes. Or I order things that you can't get otherwise, like this, which comes from a British online store. I also like to order from the US because they have styles that you can't find in Germany. She also loves shoes. And then, of course, some things come from China. They're much cheaper than here in Germany. Products from around the world are delivered to her door at the click of a button. It's an attractive way to shop. I know people who only shop online because they're so busy with work that they don't have time to shop on the weekend or during the week. They buy a lot online. This is exactly the market that designer Karl Thielsen hopes to reach with his exclusive Berlin fashion collection. His clothes are sold around the world and now they're available on the web. It's a great way to get new customers that you wouldn't be able to reach with a normal shop. You can also reach countries that you didn't previously have access to. But doing business online has a downside for the designer. All his products used to be black, but now he produces them in different colours to make them stand out more on the internet. Carl takes preliminary snapshots of his clothes on his phone to see how they will come across on the website. Before clothes had to look good on the hanger, now they have to be photogenic. They have to look good on the web, in photos and in the press, so that they'll sell. Every tenth fashion store in Germany now has its own online shop. Karl's main store is in Berlin's central district, Mitte. It's called Firma. His employees look after the shop's customers, but that's not their only responsibility. They also help develop Firma's online business, working with wholesalers from Asia and the US. The challenge is building up the e-commerce while phasing out the conventional business a little. We don't want to incur double costs, but rather faster compatibility between the actual shop and the online business. Everything is under control in the stockroom. Not all of these clothes are sold on the web. Carl thinks there are certain items that can only be sold in store. Customers have to feel them and try them on. <laughs> the company's newly designed website is nearly ready to go. But first, Karl brainstorms with a web designer. He hopes the site will help him promote his business and make his brand better known. But he's careful not to get too carried away. I know examples of people who really took it too far. They believed in it, invested too much and underestimated the maintenance needed. Or they hired three people to take care of it straight away and couldn't make enough profit to justify the investment. Karl's fashion is still a little out of Amelie's price range, but in a few years she may become one of his regular customers.